Hi guys, good day, it's me, Kitcher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about the conic section and we are focusing in parabola. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we are told to determine the opening of parabola, the vertex, the rectrix, the axis of symmetry, and the vertices of the lattice rectum. Now this is actually part 2 of our video class. Feel free to see the link in the description down below with regards to the part 1 of our video in which our vertex is at 0, 0. Now, this time class, this will be quite tricky since our vertex will not be at 0, 0. And we will do the completing the square. So, once again, this is the standard form of the parabola. If we have the value of h and k, which is not 0, 0, so that will be x minus h square, okay, a, quantity x minus h square equals 4p quantity y minus k. So, if you have x squared plus, the opening of parabola, it should be upward or downward. Now, if you have positive number before this y minus k, your parabola opens upward. If you have negative number, your parabola opens downward. Now, if you have y, quantity y minus k squared, okay, quantity y minus k squared, y minus k squared, your parabola, it opens right and left. If you have positive number before this quantity x minus h, your parabola opens to the right. If you have negative number before this x minus h, your parabola opens to the left. Let's explain this one class for you to really understand this one. So let's answer number one class. So number one, first thing to do class is we need to separate the variables, the y variables and the constant. So we transpose this y and 4 to the right. So let me just write the equation. x squared minus 4x minus 8y minus 4 equals 0. So we transpose this y from left to right. Also 4. Alright, so our equation will be x squared minus 4x equals, we put a space class because we will be adding a new constant and we will do completing the square. So this 8y, this negative 8y, it will be positive 8y and this negative 4, it will be positive 4 plus 4. Alright, next step is we need to add a new constant in this equation. Now to add a new constant, from this right from this left side of this equal sign we do have a formula to complete this one we have the completing the square formula there will be b over 2 quantity squared so b divided by 2 quantity squared so our b class is beside x beside this linear term x so our b is negative 4 so this will be negative 4 divided by 2 quantity squared negative 4 divided by 2 that's negative 2 and negative 2 squared, so we still have squared. Negative 2 squared it means negative 2 times negative 2. And your answer will be positive 4. Therefore, you will add 4 on the left side of this equation to make this equation a perfect square trinomial. Now, once you add 4 on this left side, you also add 4 on the right side to make the equation balance. Class. So you add 4 on the left side, you also add 4 on the right side. Next is we need to make this perfect square trinomial into a square of binomial. How to do that one, sir? Simply, let's just get the square root of the first term, the square root of x squared, that is x, and the square root of the last term, square root of 4, that is 2, and then copy the sign of the middle term. This is negative, you copy negative sign. And then square. That's it, plus. That's the answer of a perfect square trinomial. This will be the square of binomial. Alright, so even if we multiply this one class, x minus 2, this will be the factor of this one class. x minus 2 times x minus 2, you will get the same answer class. So let's do the FOIL method. x minus 2 times x minus 2, because x minus 2 squared, it means that you multiply x minus 2 by itself twice. First, FOIL method class. Do you still remember the FOIL method? First, x times x, that would be x squared. Outer, x times negative 2, that's negative 2x. Inner. Negative 2 times x, that's negative 2x. Last, negative 2 times negative 2, that's positive 4. And then you combine like terms. So we have x squared, negative minus negative. So negative 2 minus 2, copy the sign, then add 2 plus 2 is 4. Copy x, and then plus 4. Same answer class. So that's why, if you have this perfect square trinomial, to make it square binomial, just get the square root of the first term, x, the square root of 4 is 2, then copy the sign of the middle term, then quantity squared. And that will be easy class. Okay? If you do the factoring, it will take time. 
So that's why we have this equation, getting the square root, first term, and then last term, copy the sign of the middle term. Then quantity squared. All right, and then, okay, next step is we need to add this one. This will be 8y plus 8. Check. Can we factor this out? Yep. We can factor this out. We can factor this out by 8. So this will be x minus 2 quantity squared equals factor this out by 8. So this will be 8. Then open parenthesis. You, then you divide plus 8y divided by 8. So once again, we can factor this number by 8 GCF. The greatest common factor of 8 and 8, of course, there would be 8. So 8y divide 8. So cancel this out. There would be y plus positive 8 divided by 8. So positive 8 divided by 8, of course, that's equals to 1, plus 1. If you multiply this 1 class, 8 times y, that's 8y. Eight, 8 times 1, that's positive 8. So this will be our equation class. Alright, so that's your equation. Easy, right? Is it easy for you? So do not be worried, we will we'll answer this one step by step. And then you can now get your h. Oh, let's get first the opening of parabola. So the opening of parabola, I will just put op class. The opening of parabola, I will just put op. So once again, if this, if this is x, the exponent of, we have x minus h, quantity squared. So if we have x squared, okay, so our parabola, our parabola it should open up or down. Now since we have positive 8, therefore, our parabola opens upward. So, you need to see the first video class for you to understand the opening of parabola. So, once again, if you have x squared, quantity x minus h, this is x, x minus h quantity squared. So, this is actually the same class. Equals, okay, for 4p, then y minus k. So, this will be the equation of this one. So, if we have quantity x minus h squared, so we have x minus, then this will be our h squared. Our parabola, it open up or down, but since we have positive number before this y minus k, so therefore our parabola opens upward. So this will be upward since the number before this quantity is positive. Alright, parabola opens upward. Next, vertex. So to find the vertex, so our vertex class will be, okay, let me just write it here, vertex will be h and k, and our h is once again, this is will, this will be our h. If this is negative 2, you get the opposite. Okay, You get the additive inverse. If this is negative 2, your h will be positive 2. If this is positive 1, your k will be negative 1. That would be your vertex class. Always remember, you get the additive inverse. If this is negative 2, your h will be positive 2. If this is positive 1, your k will be negative 1. And then, we need to get the focus. So, focus class, that would be... 4p, it's always 4p class, the formula. 4p equals, then you get the number before this quantity. So 4p equals 8. To get the value of p, divide both sides by 4. And our p is 2. Alright, so p is 2. Alright, so next we can now graph this one. So 2, 1. So of course, I will just make more space upwards class because our parabola opens upward and we don't have enough space here so I will, give, I will just give more space upward so I'm so sorry for my graph class because we don't have the graphing board our graph will not be perfect as it could so I'm so sorry for this one I hope you understand this one class the graph the, the equation Alright, so we have, so I will just give more space upwards since our graph will open upward. We have positive 8. So this will be 1, so positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. Then 1, 2, this will be negative, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5 x negative, y downwards negative, and we have positive. 3, 4, 5, 6. Alright, so we will start at the vertex class. Vertex, 
2, the negative 1. So, positive 2 for x, negative 1 for y. Okay? So, this will be, do not forget plus hk, this will be x and then y. So, positive 2 for x, so this one, 2, and then negative 1 for y, so this will be your vertex. Positive 2 and then negative 1 for y. So, this will be our vertex class. Alright, now once you get the vertex, you can now get the focus. So, your focus, you, this is positive 2, therefore you move 2 units upward. So, 1, 2. So, this will be your focus. Alright, so once again, your vertex is this one. And your focus is 2. So, therefore, you move 2 units upward and our parabola opens upward. Do not forget that your focus should always be inside the parabola. So, that's why we move 2 units upward. But since this is positive, you always move 2 units upward class, since this is positive. Alright, so we have 1. Of course, you need to count the line, this one class. This is included, the origin. So, we have 1, 2, 1, 2. So, this will be our focus. And to get the length of the lattice rectum, so length of the lattice rectum, we don't have enough space. So, length of the lattice rectum, that would be the absolute value of 4P. So, why is it absolute value? Because the lattice rectum class is always positive because you're looking for the length. So, that would be absolute value of 4 and our P is 2, 4 times 2. So, this will be absolute value of 4 times 2, that would be 8. And the absolute value of 8 is always positive. The absolute value of a number is always positive. So the lattice rectum is 8. Alright, so this will be our lattice rectum. So therefore, starting from the focus, starting from this point, you move 4 units to the right and then 4 units to the left. Okay, 4 units to the left and 4 units to the right because this is 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4. We don't... We're locking one more. So we have six. One more point. One, two, three, four. And then on this side, one, two, including this origin. So one, two, three, four. So this will be the second point. All right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Once again, class, you will start at the focus when you get the units. Okay. When you get the, the measure of the lattice rectum. Okay, the length of the lattice rectum, you will start here at the focus. Then you move 4 units to the right and then 4 units to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. This will be the length of the lattice rectum class. Alright, and then you can now connect this one and this will be your graph. Alright, so that would be your graph. And the points, the vertices of the lattice rectum, I'll just put it here. We don't have enough space. So, the vertices of the lattice rectum, this will be, so the first vertices, positive 6x. Once again, plus when you write the vertices, it should be ordered pair, x and y. Okay, so positive 6, we have positive 6. And then, positive 6 and then, for, for, for y, that is positive 1. Okay, positive 1 for y. And the other one, we have this one. We have negative 2 for x and then for y, that's positive 1. So negative 2 and positive 1. So positive 6 and then positive 1 for y. x is positive 6, 1, y is positive 1. And the other vertices, negative 2 for x, then positive 1 for y. So that would be the vertices of the lattice rectum. Alright, so we have the opening of parabola upward, the vertex. Vertex is 2 and negative 1. Directrix. Now, to get the directrix class, that will be opposite direction of the focus. Once again, to get the focus, starting from the vertex, you move 2 units upward. So, 1, 2. To get the directrix, you move 2 units downward. So, starting from the vertex, 1, 2. Okay, so locking 1. So, this will be negative 3. So, the directrix class, you move 2 units downward. So, once again, 1 and then 2. So, you intersect at this given point. Okay, this one. And this point is aligned with negative 3. This is y class, negative 3. Y axis. 
So therefore, our direct x will be y is equals to negative t. That's it, class. That's how you find the direct x. So once again, the direct x is actually the opposite direction of the focus. You move two units upward to get the focus. Therefore, to get the direct x, you move two units downward. One, two, and then this is direct x is actually a line class. You intersect at this, at this given point, which is negative t. Okay, this point class. One, two, this point, and this is point. This point is inter. This point is aligned with negative t. So that's why our direct x equals equals to y equals negative t. Alright. Last one. So we have the vertices. Do we have the vertices of the lattice rectum? Yep. We have the vertices of the lattice rectum. Opening of parabola. Yep. Upward. Vertex. 2 and negative 1. Direct rex. Yep. Y equals negative 3. Axis of symmetry. So last one. Axis of symmetry. So the axis of symmetry class. The formula. The, I will just put AOA, AOS class. Axis of symmetry. Now, the axis of symmetry, once again, if your parabola opens up or down, your equation will be x equals h. That's always x equals h class. If your parabola opens upward or downward, your equation will be x equals h. So, this will be x equals, and get the value of h, which, which is positive 2. Therefore, the axis of symmetry, that would be x equals positive 2. That's the answer class. Because if you... If you manually get the axis of symmetry and do not forget that the axis of symmetry is a line who cuts the parabola into two equal parts so this will be your axis of symmetry class if you do it manually but it will take time okay and your parabola intersect or cuts okay this parabola cut at this okay at this vertex in which this this two here is the horizontal line okay cut this Cut at this horizontal line, which is positive 2. Okay, it was cut in this positive 2. Check those, this one class. Alright, so that's the axis of symmetry. So the parabola cut, okay, parabola cuts at this particular point, which is 2. Okay, this is positive 2 at this juncture. So we have 1, 2, this will be 2. That's why our x is equals to 2. So it will take time, we do it manually, just remember this one, if your parabola opens up or down, this will be your equation for the axis of symmetry. If your parabola opens right and left, this will be your equation for the axis of symmetry. That's it, class. So we have, so we have the vertex, the direct rex, the axis of symmetry, the vertices of the lattice rectum, and the focus, What's, where's the focus, class? We get that a while ago. Here, our focus is P equals 2. And the vertices of the focus, so this will be the vertices. So focus vertices, that would be, okay, this will be, starting from here, 1, 2, this will be X is 2, then Y is 1. This will be the vertices of the focus. Alright, so that's it, class. That's how you solve for this one. You find the vertex, the, the, the directrix, the parabola, the axis of symmetry and the vertices of the lattice rectum. So I hope you this video helps. Now if this video helps, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we will be answering this one class, the number two. The next part of our video, that will be the number two. So feel free to see the link in the description down below with regards to the part three. This will be the part three of our video class. Alright, so once again, this is Teacher MJ. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.